Alrighty guys. That the sun is a shining. Let me walk you over here. That is my one that with a stock air filter set up on it. Made 5.8 horse. It's got the A2 design with the paper element. And then I painted my wedge that I uh, drilled holes in a while back and uh, painted it orange and swapped it out. Um, with the A2 set up on it, that saw is probably sitting pretty close at six horse, maybe a touch over. Uh, I was, it's, it's a personal build. It is, this one's on a 105 roof. Um, but it's a pretty zesty 105, uh, gobs of torque and, uh, it's, uh, in speed testing, it is just a tick. And I mean, just a tick behind my, my other six horse one that's got the Samora bar on it. Um, I mean, I mean, maybe a tenth of a second, if that. It, uh, it's just a, just a tick. And that could have actually been me pushing harder on one than the other. It's, it's, it's hard to keep the testing consistent. But uh, if I get offered the, the right price, I'd let this one go. I can't keep them all. Um, I got some other projects I got to fund. So, uh this is one of my personal custom builds uh, so it won't go cheap but uh, if the price is right I'll let it go and I'll let it go with the feather light bar too uh, I'll let it go exactly how you see it right right here if you don't want the orange wedge with the holes in it I have a black wedge with no holes in it and I can throw in one of my homemade uh, white cages for a, a foam filter if you wanted to buy a CT Honda CT filter and cut it down to to make it fit, I don't I don't have any more foam. Otherwise, it'd be in it. Um, this has the the red one. This has the red paper element cartridge style filter in it. So uh, with my orange with my orange wedge. And uh, I painted that wedge the other day and said I'm the hood of my red truck and I went to work today and come back and it was still sitting on the hood of my truck on the corner of it. The paint must have been just wet enough to stick it down. I can't believe I didn't lose it. I, I'd, uh, I was doing like 55 down the road and uh, when I pulled back in the driveway when I looked at the corner of my hood there, there it was. Uh, so I'm surprised I didn't lose that wedge. But uh, it's got the sticker where I sharpied 5.8 on it. That was so I could keep track of it. This saw does not even have a tank of gas on it. It's got a few test cut videos and then a few dyno pulls. And uh, that's it. But this this is a brand spanking new uh, 4910 that I did custom work to. And before I get it too dirty, I figured I'd put it up for sale. Uh, it does have my twin... This is my short tube uh, twin piped uh, exhaust. Uh, so I don't have another muffler sitting around that I could do a single if somebody wanted a single outlet on it. But uh, yeah, it's a damn good runner uh, in primo shape. Like I said, it doesn't even have a tank of fuel on it. If the price is right, I'll let it go. Um, if not, I'll sell one of my other saws to get my projects going. This is one I don't really care if I sell it or not. But I just I thought I would present it to you guys where you guys get an opportunity to pick up one of my custom saws. So um, it was a toss-up between this one and the one with my Samora bar. And uh, I've got a lot more into that other one than than this one so yeah so this one's up for sale uh if you don't want the forester lightweight bar uh, i have a 20 inch uh brand new echo bar that i could i think i have a brand new chain for that too but i, I don't think it's an rs chain i think it's the oregon chain so let me know you guys take it easy and uh have a good one